Oh, fuck off! Ha ha ha! I was never Dr. Jupy. There is no Dr. Jupy. Are you shocked, you idiot? You complete fucking moron! Oh, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> and to think you never once suspected your helpless little bitch! Let's see how you deal with my trained recruits who are also my torture victims! <laughs> Catch me if you can! Ha! There never was any Flimmy or Jeffy or whatever those made up stupid rock little kids were called! In fact, those aren't even real names! Nobody would have those names! When did you ever lose your victim? Attack the bounty hunter! the stuff. Oh, now that felt good. He had some very nice choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm squeezing. Thank you so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian. Smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty matchless. good. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good. Oh not good. shit! Not I think that's a photo good. of the famous dude who invented translator microbes. Why the fuck does he know humans. Douglas? We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops and now. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy. Black Black God, 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 I don't know. Know. Arms up and shoots us. Got a you want to fuck these guys up? Shot down, Blast these idiots! Hey, you wanna know my real hat trick? My crystals stick into batteries and they'll explode if you hit them real hard. Like with your knife. You get it. Go nuts. Stab his ass! Oh, done already? I was just getting into it. You just made a big mistake, asshole. Aim me at those fuckers and I'll charge up a super crystal. Go to heaven. You can use that to detonate my smaller crystals. So just blast some normal shots, then finish them off with my super crystal. You got that, dipshit? This isn't a simulation, because there'll be an afterlife waiting for you. Oh, the coward wants to hide, huh? Well, it's not gonna work! Check this out. Aim me at that candy ass and shoot him through his cup. Fuck yeah! He had no idea what hit him. Oh, now we gotta get a... Great! Perfect! Now hurry and cross before it wears off! Incredible, right? What a thrill! You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too! And try loading the bubble up with my crystals! Then you'll see what... Gatlian. <sighs> We're gonna make a good team, I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlian. So what's next? You turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up.
Hey, kid. Another one down, huh? Great work. But, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. Just watch. Doors were invented in my backyard. But don't tell anyone. It's a secret. All right, good. Get over here. Hey, actually, actually, hold on. You can't reveal that secret. Oh. Check this out. Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City magistrate. You all know I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch us next bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you'd go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Just head through there. Clug's expecting you. Hey, where the hell are you going? Go talk to Clug! Jesus! Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. All right, let's get this straight. 
Now you want me to believe that Santa Claus did all that? Bet you're looking for Globo, huh? You, you, I bet you want to hear him drum, don't you? Yes, that's allowed. Now where is he? Well, try to wrap your head around this. He got signed to Blobbity Bloops Records, and he landed a big gig on a late night TV show here, and this could be his big break. And it's all because of you. We all knew he was going to be a big star, and you took the time, and goddammit, Oh, we're just so excited. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we get credit, right? And royalties? We should get credit and royalties. You know what? Fuck everybody who made fun of him for farting out of his face. Globo's gonna be huge. I mean, this is a... You're, you're looking at the next, uh, 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 uh D Davey Wilson. Yo, Mr. Keep, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Jean. And stay out. Eyes open, bozo. What's the name of that girl? What was it? How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate, Mr. Keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a catnap in. This is your bedroom? Okay. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Let me turn off the camera. Yeah, it's just nice. used to do this off camera and it was more fun, but now that we made it our job, it just feels suffocating. Is this not a scripted show? Is this a reality? Oh, check out that landing, goddamn! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. and calling you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now and buy my illegal shit! I mean, that guy's trying to get our attention. The best Gatlian is back, baby!
I'm Jeffrey Gun Shooter. I'm Jerry. That's oh. that good. I'm Bob Gun Shooter. It's been a while, Bounty Hunter! Sweezy's always the right choice! <laughs> Ticklish! Hey, did you forget something? Watching you buy that. Finally, get the hell out! Hey, you look hungry. Hungry for some uh, deals? Am I right? be a professional runner on earth or something I've been telling you to clean up this place is a mess I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here oh got a big date with your sad sack flimborg boy toy fuck off Jean like you've even never been on a date hey don't even start sister I know a lot about dates I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend and even I don't want to touch your boyfriend so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. While well, you're off having fun, doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus! Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? No, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Well, geez. I don't know why you're being so critical of me. I mean, I'm your own sister, and I'm the only human you've got left that's not getting smoked by giant space slugs. Wow. Yeah, uh, she's right. Real cold of you. Just kidding. She's wrong and you made the right choice. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, 
A nice little arrangement with Klug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. <laughs>